Hey everybody, this is Heroic Legend here. We are back, 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 and back with some more invasion for Dark Souls 2. Why? Because I want hate mail. I want your hate. Show me that I have upset you so I can relish in it. So I can roll around in it like, like some kind of harlot. Huh. Hmm. I kind of want a double crossbow, but that's... that's dumb. I'm sad now. Enchanted. That means it scales with my... no, it doesn't. It actually scales pretty horribly. I'm looking for a weapon I can use that has a bit of power to it and does not put me over the limit. Ah, here we go, my poison shuttle. There we go. For just in case. Because that penetrates your shield. Actually, I need to talk to, uh, Agdeen. So I can get a special weapon. I I'll... Oh no, my phone is dying. How will I know when to stop? Simple, I plug it in. <coughs> There's a wire hanging. Alright, time to figure out which one of these charged my phone and which one of these is, uh, needs to be thrown away. And my cell phone still lives! But now my laptop looks as if it's, uh, life support victim. Oh, that sounds wrong, I'm sorry. And because I said that, no one will, uh, I will not be able to be summoned. All the trespassers will have gone go home saying, fuck this guy. Even though I've already named the episode something regarding this. Alright, Defender Shield. Why do I have this equipped? Yeah, I, I get... I literally take off a good chunk of damage from a lot of things. And it's probably one of the better ones for that. It's not a great shield. It has magic to it, too. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> uh, what to talk about? Well, alright, so, for those of you who may be new to the channel, oh, I don't have to talk as much because we are invading. Yes. Um, if, if you guys ever want to know my preference with, uh, Dark Souls. My thing is, I prefer the covenants that don't require a lot of kills to. I'll explain it in a bit, but I don't like the covenant, the new way of the blue, nor do I like the Blood Brothers, because basically those are supposed to be the Dark Raves and the. Well, not the way of the blue, but um, the Blue Sentinels, because those are supposed to be the Dark Moonblade Covenant and the Dark Raves. So, for me, personally, oh, you have the Curved Black Sword, um, an Electric Avalon, and you're gonna, nope, no, that might be Electric Bolts, actually. Oh, he's coming up to say hi, I think. <laughs> uh, that was fun. <laughs> oh my god, I have the perfect gift for that. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope I can edit it in properly. Because, oh my god. And if I did, it, I probably already have, so I'll ignore this segment. But just, wow. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get this guy. Oh no, the thing is killed me. See, this is exactly why I always question why people roll when I have homing soul mass up because dodging this is literally easy to do if you you just backpedal. Because up close, it's gonna hit you, or at least one one of them will probably hit you because not all of them connect at the same time. It's like 
maybe two will connect at the same time, but that's it, and it will be two sets of two. The first one may all may miss, but the other four might still connect. So you got to be very careful when dodging homing soul mass. I don't even have crystal homing soul mass yet. I actually need to go get that. Uh, I might do that. I also am going to go kill someone. And you know what? I'm going to show it all. Depend. You know, if I win this, if if I get another match, so it will be three matches. I will take off my ring and I will go show you guys what I'm talking about. Because this is technically not story stuff. This is just extra shit stuff. And you guys don't need to worry about the extra shit stuff. And I got my soul spear. Splinter mech. I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten a hate message yet. Or a GG message. Oh! What the fuck? Where'd he go? Oh, did you heal up? You healed up. Well then. Looks like you healing up did nothing. Wait, I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to scumbag. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I didn't make gifts that's out of freaking the Dark Souls 2 <laughs> emotes, because that's... Wait. Have I done three fights already? I was rambling on, and I had a fight. And I had another fight. I don't know, that was one before. Oh, this is why you don't do recordings back to back when it comes to invading. Oh, I'm going right back again. Don't even let me breathe, huh, Bell Guardians? I wonder if the same guy just like super pissed at me. Like, ah, I want to fight him again. By the way, uh, a little bit about Dark Souls 2. Casting time is not something that can be changed, which is different than in 1. In 1, you have to stick with whatever casting time you got. You can cry all you want, but it's not, it wasn't going to change. In 2, you can actually change it a bit, but I believe the fastest will always be sorceries, right behind it being pyromanties to an extent, and then miracles. But it, it re, uh, well actually there are hexes, I think hexes might be a little bit faster in terms of shot speed. And there's my target. Why does he think I'm gonna fall for that? Oh, cool! Another dark spirit. And he healed up. Got him. Teamwork. And I apologize for being scum. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. We did good, buddy. We're, we're a good team. We're a good team. You, me, best buddy. Oh, that's the decapitate. Alright, maybe I can get the ring off, because this is what happened last time to me once. Just back-to-back -back invasion constantly. There we go. Okay, so now that I have enough souls, I can start upgrading my shit, and I can actually go... I feel confident enough to go do what I wanted to. So... Uh, maybe I shouldn't have the shoulder equipped for this. I think the Hedge Knight sword does will do fine on its own. Maybe the Uchi Tata. I'm gonna upgrade this so I can use it more. Cause I do like this weapon. It's very interesting. I also should check this one spot in Majula to see if I still have a chance to get this. Because um, for a promotional thing they did for the DLC, every time if you went into the Majula's mansion and you went to that chest, it reset. So if, if don't worry, if you haven't gotten the Soul Vessel from there, which I sh I believe I showed off in one of the episodes. 
you can get it after the event is done and after you've opened up the last thing. The last weapon being a, a blue Murakamo. It's, no, it's nothing really more than a, an aesthetic change, but it is pretty cool, in my in my opinion at least. The blue Murakamo probably does better with uh, certain sets, and I also need to check if this guy finally returned. Nope, nope. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know what this glitch was, but apparently I lost Kale somehow. I don't I don't even know how. Ah, oh, I missed it. But yeah, so I'm going to go go around and I I think I'm going to get bad karma for this. Uh player info, I have no sin so to speak. But I might be accumulating some. Unless killing the like NPCs doesn't count anymore, which is interesting. Like I remember reading that certain NPCs you kill, uh, they'll, they'll, it'll just be like, you know, you're a bad guy, fuck you. Huh? Okay, okay, we upgrade this. No maxing out. God, that's gonna take forever to max out. <laughs> huh. Well, I'll have to finish that off later. I will make it back, though. So, why, why would you say that? Alright, so this is going to be a little bit extra, so I, I guess I'll do the outro now for those of you who don't want to watch, like, kind of spoilers, but kind of spoiler warning, um, there is, I am going to be doing things that are much later in the game right now, so you might want to look away if you're keeping up with my thing, if you're keeping up with my Let's Play, um, if you're interested in how I get here in terms of story. Like, just, just stop for now, cut the video off. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope we had some laughs. For all of you who want to continue watching for whatever reasons, uh, well, feel free to watch me get angry. Because I might get angry. So, for those of you who are watching, this, this also might be a, an interesting thing. Oh, right, the Dwarf of the Dead. That's not going to be fun. Oh, oh, um... Because this is an out of the way thing as well, for those of you who are still watching. There is a segment here. I, I should save it for the LP, but it's technically out of the way. So I, I don't feel too bad about spoiling it. But it's called the Door of the Dead. If you are dead at the time you reach this door, it will unlock for you. And if you do that, you, are, you will be met with... <clears throat> Sorry something in my throat. You'll be met with three um, undead creatures and two and, and, and three undead creatures that are crawling on the ground and two of them that are uh, and, and one of them that is in the distance that will be launching hexes at you. This is what the bonfire I was talking about. Um, I actually need to be going. I have to properly equip myself for this. Magic arrows. So I think that actually, I wish I knew arrow scaled. So we go here. Tune spells. We're gonna drop great sword and one of the spears. So I can grab heavy. And shield. Now, um, I I'm debating because I hear this area is a hot spot for summon help. Simply because, eh, well, the the demon of song. Personally, I think you'd do best to fight this boss melee and again I'm sorry for those of you who are 
just curious. This is part of the story. You actually have to get through here to continue on with the game, but the Demon of Song is not is an easier boss fight if you just go ahead and legitimately fight it melee. Melee fighting it is the easiest, from 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 my beliefs at least. All right, enchanting this. Pop in this. Oh shit! Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to cut this off now because apparently I need to focus for this and I'm not focused because of this and I'm... Oh. And I was so prepared, too. Thank you for watching. Have a pleasant day. Best of luck to you. I'm going to go weep in a corner now. <laughs>